Hi, today is the 3rd of May 2019. So there's nothing like a good run in the neighborhood to get the juice flowing in these stressful times. One name cropped up and invaded my head. You know, if I encounter Truman Burbank in real life, I know myself. I won't be able to resist injecting myself in his story. And who is Truman Burbank? I want to... Um, I don't think the millennials have an, I, I, I don't think they have an, a grasp of how powerful he, this movie can be. So just a short, a, a very brief recap. Well, Jim Perry, he plays Truman Burbank, is a naive insurance salesman. Insurance salesman siya, very naive whose humdrum existence, napaka-boring in life niya. Very routine, very regimented, structured, nothing happens, boring. But unbeknownst to him, he is being telecast live around the globe 24 hours a day. Can you imagine living that life when it would seem like nobody knows him? You know, when people, uh, when uh, new faces come to him they would say who are you again what's your name again and yet really in reality his name his face his story is plastered diba? on tv all over the globe can you imagine that he doesn't know it but everything in truman burbank's life is part of a massive TV set. Executive pro producer Christoph, played by Ed Harris, our childhood crush that shows our age crush, orchest orchestrates the Truman Show. This is a live reality show, a live broadcast of Truman's every move captured by hidden cameras. I don't know, I mean, the millennials are so used to reality show, but um, because, um, reality show nowadays has to be staged like like um of course i won't mention the more prominent reality show but this time in the truman show he doesn't know it can you imagine a reality show where everyone is on it except him so that's um that's the Truman Show. You know, guys, if you don't know it, please, please um, get a copy or watch watch it again and just appreciate it from our um, perspective. Definitely in this, if this story is real, I too will have a dog in the fight. You know, a stake, a bone, a significance in the gaping hole that rules no man as an absolute no personality everyone can be part of the script because the script is man-made so it's staged it's contrived so i can be <clears throat> i can ask the director you know to please i want i want to come across as very wise so with this person who doesn't know that i am just role-playing um the TV lens, you know, the camera lens will follow his reaction. And if his re reaction is normal reaction, normal response to a stimuli, I would, uh, you know, the, with the right script, I can be so, you know, I can be so popular. So, uh, given that I know myself, uh, I won't be able to resist playing it to the hilt. So... Um, but then again, I would take a uh, time to reflect because we um, does this person, um, is he or she unprotected that, um, you know, somehow will people shield her from opportunistic tendencies like, mind for example will um, other people will the sense of outrage be not there if there are some opportunistic attempt to um, like capitalize on 
his ignorance and lastly because of my faith will a God who is all-knowing and who is all-seeing will he not um, discipline me in some way if I um, use this person unknown to unknown to him and uh, um, I use his ignorance against him um, so that my own agenda will be, you know, will be achieved. So these things really um, speak of how we can relate to each other. In the time of this reality show, maybe... Um, Everyone is not in it because there are a lot of places, you know, the rural areas who are still um, living in warped, you know, some, some kind of um, time warped of their own. Uh, I would not want to be the one to um, exploit their ignorance. So, I'm saying this in relation to um, the questions that I always get to be asked. What's your plan? What's the, what's the timetable? I just want to say that every one of us is in the clock. You know, one presidential term is not enough to steer the whole country into the direction of a drastic change. I am reminded of this while listening to the platforms of veteran campaigners. The reality is only an insider can have an insider's knowledge on how democracy works. Democracy is messy, it's noisy, and um, the exchanges can be so bitter and painful. But we have to respect each other's opinions. And um, as I can see it, the criticisms, that's the, all the criticism that's been that's uh, I heard being thrown, for example, at the at the administration and vice versa. You know, um, if you can dish it out, you can receive it. And um, every day I get to read twitters which are not flattering to the government. So I can still say that. Um, they are well, democracy is well and healthy in this part of the world. So, but that's, that's just me. So unless one plans, plans on a dictatorial rule, then the platform as, you know, as um, said, stated during the campaign, um, there might be a way to really implement that, right? because a lot of things can go wrong uh, that somehow they will belie the, uh, the campaign statements, you know, the promises, the, the broken promises. So the most noble platform and timetable can be derailed and worse get thrown to chaos the moment the interplay of democratic rights tipped to one direction pag na out of balance and by the way smooth sailing doesn't uh, doesn't achieve much either even if it's reality because the tug of war between opposite advocacies um in order for one to gain a foothold diba? um means they share each other's platform with opposite advocacies so I don't envy the arbiter right? so I just want to plead with you to give each other a chance so when with the midterm election a week away from now the presidential election is already looming at the horizon 
the lawmakers will also not wait out for 2020 before turning over possibilities in their heads. And if I'm able to think along these lines, more so are those who live this reality day by day. The calendar isn't there for set. So let me ask a direct question to those who, like me, spend long hours in the waiting lounges. Is the number on your hand well in the beeline for a redemption center or in the grievance desk of real life? Are they still relevant and valid to be enforced by whom? I thought about it because from the time I'm already back in the system, some concerns of mine have become non-concerns. So, sabi nga nung ano ko, you know, in our language, ma, ano bang pinaglalaban mo? You know, sometimes we are so caught up in the emotions of the past that we don't realize that we're so past that, that it's time to move on. And yet, we're still, we, we just can't. So, and it will take an outsider, an external factor, external force to make us realize that um, maybe the numbers that we're holding on to, you know, the past hurt, um, the, the dream, you know, the objective that um, so many years have passed and we're still hanging on to it. Maybe it's time to take an inventory. Right? So, and since not many are fond of reading long letters, listening to videos, watching videos, running 10 minutes past 10 minutes <laughs> like this one oh well um some of us would just um as they say play it to the choir we would be banking on our own network and support system to stay with us as we thresh this out because i feel strongly about this i feel so strongly about this that it's 12 minutes and I'm still at it. I know that some will tune out, but I know that some will stay to listen to the end of this video and some will translate it in their native dialect. So for you guys, thank you so much. Adaptation of the nuances takes time and since I had an early start, that's an advantage that I am you know, thanking God now, on hindsight, I didn't used to, um, I didn't used to, I was so mad at it, I was so angry that um, it feel, it had felt like um, the world is against me, yeah, I know that's the kind of mentality that one gets in trouble. It had felt like I was swimming against the tide and that nobody was for me. So, um, learning from that mistake, um, I just want to sh share with you a week before the election how um, relevant, at least for us, how relevant our show will be and I hope that you get to appreciate it. Once again, this is your truly Carissa Talagat.